what I'd like to do is just show you what's going on at the spirit body level when you're in a sec when you have a sexual attraction. So imagine this is your body, if you like. You're, now I'm talking about your spirit body, and this is the person you're attracted to, spirit body. All right. Now, of course, the soul is the container of the emotion. So the soul is the real you. So that's got the container of emotion. But what happens, remember, you've got chakra points, haven't you? All the way up through your body. Agreed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, they are not the only energy points or the en entry or exit points of energy from your body. But they are the meridians where the most energy exits and enters. And you have it both on the front of your body and on the rear of your body. Right? Now, each, the operation of each of these chakras depends very, very much on the emotions underlying each chakra. Now, the more, the more connections that you can have with another person, so the other person has got the same chakras, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other person's got the same chakras as well. And the more connection points you can have with the other person at this level, at this energetic level, means that the more emotional energy flows through you at that particular point. So let's say I'm a woman and I've got, I've got an anger with man, men. I've got anger with men. Now, anger is usually affecting our second or third chakras a lot. Let's say underneath the anger in the first and second chakras, I've got some issues with wanting to feel special. In other words, I have a feeling or emotion in me where I'm not special as a woman and I want to feel special. So, and let's say this man comes along and he's got, he's got in, in this chakra a feeling that he deserves a woman's anger. Right? So in other words, he feels very ashamed of himself being a male. He feels that he's got some issues regarding uh, his mother probably. And, and so he feels that he deserves a woman's anger and control. So he deserves to be controlled. And let's say because of that and because of his relationship with his mother, he, let's say his father was an abusive father and he always sided with his mother. So this is a male who always sided with his mother and was always trying to make his mother feel good, feel special. So he, he wants to make somebody feel special. But he's willing in the process to actually denigrate himself in the process. Now, because these emotions are actually compatible with each other, what will happen is energy will begin flowing from these chakras to the other person and cycle through the two of you. Does that make sense? Because the emotions are actually compatible. And it's because of the compatibility emotions, so this emotion starts connecting, this emotion starts connecting, and we have a cycle. One's, one's saying, you know, one's not angry with the man, the other one feels he deserves to be controlled, so he deserves a woman's anger. So we get this amplification of emotional energy. Does that make sense? That occurs. In other words, they think each other are really hot. So they really, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so they're so attracted to each other, they just think, this person must be my soulmate. I'm just so blown away by this person. They're really turning me on. Just looking at them turns me on. And they don't understand that actually they're connecting on a couple of chakra levels that they possibly haven't connected with other people on. And if the injuries match each other in intensity and match each other in desire, what will happen is this cycle will rapidly grow between the two persons. And they will feel drawn together and therefore feel drawn into a sexual relationship. Does that make sense? Now the only problem is, it's very hard to live with a man who desires to be controlled by a woman because a lot of times he's easily manipulated but then the woman starts thinking, oh, he's too easily manipulated. He's a bit of a wimp actually now that I think about it, you know what I mean? And she starts going down that track. And so what happens with these kind of relationships, you get attracted together because of the emotional injuries. It's a burning attraction right at the beginning. 
And then what happens is the emotional injuries actually start getting heightened because of living together or being together more often. And as that occurs, you start realizing the flaws in the person that no longer attract you on other chakra level areas. So for a true relationship to continue and for, for sexual desire to continue for all of your life together at the same intensity or a growing intensity, more and more chakra areas have to connect, but they have to connect in truth, in harmony with love. And the problem is, in this case, they're not connecting harmonious with love, they're connecting harmonious with needs. So eventually a relationship like this dissipates in its intensity, dissipates in desire, and dissipates in <coughs> sexual intensity as well. So while they had that hot, oh, they're hot right at the start, that quickly fades, generally, because all of the other emotional injuries kick in, and they start seeing the person for really what's going on. So, if you feel a strong attraction to any person, whether you're in a relationship with someone else or not, is immaterial, if you feel a strong attraction to any person, look very sincerely at what you're getting from that person that makes you feel attracted to them. So there's something emotional that you're getting from this person that makes you feel so attracted to them. There's something emotional that's opening up a part of you that's, that's hurting and it opens up it, that particular part of you further that allows more energy to flow between you and that person and therefore more energy to flow through yourself which turns you on. So it literally, you could say literally, turns on the spirit body. It turns on like a light bulb getting switched on. And when our injuries are the most compatible, that's when the light bulb really brightly glows. So it's fair to say that most attractions that happen at the moment are actually injury-based attractions? Yeah. You say? yeah. Would you be able to talk a little bit about what a soul-to-soul -soul attraction would be like? If that's yes. an injury-based one? Now, soul-to-soul -soul attraction, well, in terms of a non-injury-based soul-to-soul attraction, a non-injury-based soul-to-soul attraction would have every one of these emotions healed. So, for instance, the woman would not have anger with men. She would not have grieving issues with men. She would not want to feel special from men. She would, she would have, in fact, she would feel totally healed within herself. So when you're at one with God as women, you will feel totally healed within yourself and you'll feel like you don't need anybody, including your soulmate. You will feel like you don't need even your soulmate. Right? So let's say the woman's in that space. Just, just the woman, not the male. Let's say the male's still got lots of injuries. Well, what will happen is the woman will know who her soulmate is in that situation and only be able to connect to her soulmate by keeping each of these chakras or by actually maintaining the different things she's already learned. So in the base chakra, in the second chakra, she's learned a lot about self-worth, approval of herself as a woman and all those kind of things and all those things are healed. Because all of those things are healed, she is totally healed in that, in, that, in that location. So she might meet her soulmate, and because of her soulmate's injuries, not feel a sexual attraction to the soulmate unless the soulmate heals those injuries. She will also be speaking truth constantly to her soulmate. So every single thing she's going through emotionally, she'll be saying what that is to her soulmate. Uh, whether he wants to hear it or not, actually. Right, she will say it. Now, this is often difficult, isn't it, for a woman that's not healed. How many of you women find yourself shutting down your own feelings, shutting down what you're saying to your partner, because you think he won't want to hear what you've got to say? Right? That's pretty common, isn't it? So, uh, when you're completely healed, you won't feel like that. You will not shut yourself down in order for, to make the other person more comfortable. Does that make sense? So here we're talking about just one person. Once they're healed in themselves, they don't have any needy emotions coming from any other person. There will be no projections of need whatsoever coming from another person and no projections of needing to dominate the other person either. So there will be no neediness coming from themselves to actually browbeat or dominate or feel special within themselves because all of those things will be healed. 
like if you already know you're special, you don't feel like you need somebody else to show you, right? If you already know that you've healed all of your emotions about men and anger, anger, you don't, you won't automatically be projecting anger at men that you met, will you? That will all be gone. So let's say she's in that space. Now, they can't have a soul-to-soul -soul connection completely until he gets into a similar place. However, he will feel very drawn to this kind of a woman, particularly if this woman is his soulmate. Because this woman has all of her stuff healed, and so he will feel some kind of draw to her. But he will still be dictated to by his own emotional injuries until he heals them all. Now, when he heals them all, there will be an energy connection. So we're talking now metaphysics rather than soul. There will be an emotional energy connection coming from the spirit body of one person to the other person and cycling between the two of you all the time. So it won't just be happening you know, when you want to have sex with them. It'll be happening all the time. And it'll be happening on every level. So, for instance, as I gain more self-worth, Mary is triggered in the sense of if she wants to control me, she'll be triggered with that. But she also likes it because I'm more <laughs> like a man that she can rely on. Does that make sense? So there is often this double thing going on where the injury is being triggered, but there's also a nice feeling coming from the person as well. And so as you develop and grow emotionally and all of these chakras are healed, now you have a chakra connection with every single part of the other person. Now this is all coming from the soul, remember, not just from the spirit body, but the soul controls the spirit body's energies. So as the emotions in the soul get healed, what happens is the spirit body's energies get healed. And if you are with a relation in a relationship where another person's healing themselves in the same manner, working towards God, you will get to a point eventually where both of you are completely healed and the energy cycling between the both of you is completely dependent upon desire only and never dependent on need. Does 